women from the 21 local government areas of Kogi State and people living with disabilities are here to be empowered by the state government through the office of the wife of the governor, Rashida Bello. The gesture by the Kogi State Government is part of activities marking the 31st anniversary of the creation of Kogi State, as the governor believes that empowering women and those living with disabilities will reduce poverty in the state. Addressing the participants, the resource person educates the women on business startup plans. There are so many businesses that you can start with um, um, small money, food vendor. I know of a, it's, it's not somebody telling me, but it's what I have you know, witnessed myself. I know of somebody that had started cake business with just 3,000 naira. It's about three years now, and you know his, her network is running into millions. It depends on what you want to do. The wife of the Kogi State Governor, who's happy with the empowerment program, says the current administration led by Governor Yaya Bello has done a lot to uplift women and people living with disabilities from poverty. She urges them to utilize the money judiciously in order to better their lives and that of their family members. When you return back home, please remember your next door neighbor that cannot afford to eat. <laughs> So I congratulate you all again and I wish and I pray to God Almighty to keep us alive to see 32nd and then by the grace of God, yes, I about the infrastructural development that we have started, I can assure you that you haven't seen anything yet. The highlight of the event is the distribution of cash to the women and those living with disabilities. The head of service in the state explains the significance of the event. Women are very important in the socioeconomic um, situation of the state because we, the women are largely involved in small scale and, and medium scale uh, enterprises. So what they have been given today will go a long way to establish some people and to help to improve the businesses that some of them are already doing. With the empowerment exercise, the wife of the Kogi State Governor is optimistic that the cash given to them will be properly invested so as to better their lives.